Greetings my lords, this is Captain Obvious and that was the Music Video City Showcase and now I will reveal and explain the process of the city design, city economy statistics, military and whatnot. And a friendly reminder that inspirational design screenshots of my game builds are available in my socials for Mana Lords and other city builder games. So first let's check out the stats of the city. So it looks gorgeous, but is it efficient? Is it practical and whatnot? So first of all, we see that we have enough food and fuel for the year. Uh, we have enough influence. Actually, the game is nearly done. All I need to do is claim these two. So we are at the very end game. Uh, what else do we see? No people are really complaining. Some things are full, you know, that happens from time to time. But uh, for the most part, you don't see any downvotes. Uh, our approval is up. We have all level three families. The level ones are the ones in the manor. So I think we can agree that this city is uh, functioning properly and well. And we don't have to worry about anything. When it comes to food, I don't have like a thousand in the bank. Uh, but I don't think that's absolutely necessary. If you want to do that, you know, you can make things, you can add more things, you can expand, but I, I mean, the game is over. I don't like to go any further more than necessary, right? I mean, I enjoy the build and that's what I love to do in terms of gaming. Uh, all right, so let's check out the, the city design itself. So first, let's start with the manor. So if you check out the manor, right, I love this aesthetic. So these are flax, and then these are we. Th these are basically fields, right? And I just use the color to make it look, you know, absolutely beautiful, right? And then uh, these things, of course, is the actual manor itself. So a tip in order to do this is, uh, so you start with the manor, right? And nothing is attached, but you you can plan it out. Just don't commit. Right, you can plan out the locations. You can plan. Then you have to build the roads, put in your uh, your fields because, as you can see, you see this dotted line. Anything inside you cannot edit, so you cannot add more things. So, for instance, if I wanted to add a road, you see, it, it won't allow me to. And if I if I delete something permanently, it'll be gone. I can't add any more things. So you have to plan out your uh, manner. Uh, you know to exactly to what it will be uh the other thing that you have to take note of is it this is very very expensive when it comes to wood especially planks as well so you have to prepare for that i had around maybe almost 200 uh timber in order to build this okay uh let's go ahead and check out the other areas so of course the design we have our flax and then yeah we have flax to the side and here we have the apple apple fields uh they also turn white when they are about ripe and uh here of course is like a uh, one wing of my area so i have here this is our main part of the city this is where i started then i expanded to the manor and then i built other areas to the side and here of course we have our church uh, it's uh, advisable to have a church uh, nearby any settlement and of course you have your market and I have my other uh, necessities in the back so I have our storehouse and uh, where's the other one storehouse and where is it oh here it is the the large granaries there so no one here is complaining that's why everything is all all positive and uh yeah so i didn't like fill this area with mostly houses i like the empty space i i, li I think this looks gorgeous right and then here going downhill this is probably the best view of the city going downhill look at that this almost does not look like manor lords anymore i i, I just love the way this turned out uh these trees uh are kind of annoying they keep popping up but i think it's fine all right then also added these shrines we need more uh, cosmetics by the way uh, you know the game is still in early access so you know there's things to look forward to so we have pretty much the same pattern we have our uh, church in the middle 
we have this one is a smaller market and i kind of changed things up a little so if you notice this is a smaller market this one's a, a little larger and whatnot and uh yep and again i have uh, my you know my storage and stuff here and of course these are actual farms right so that's why i have a farmhouse here so when they're ready to you know harvest and plow and whatnot and let's turn around this is another gorgeous view look at that oh i love i love this I, w I was so happy and i was so excited to share this build and and again see it's still no one is complaining it's, it's all good and the banners uh, i mean the baron is about to die we only got two regions to claim and let's go ahead and check out the main section of the city where we started everything so here you know i have my things like my blacksmith uh, the joiner shops and whatnot and this is where you know where all our food is coming from this is my initial farms and uh oh by the way so this uh the high resource on this map is land and uh iron these are probably the best resource you could have uh as i think iron has to be number one this will enable you to sell weapons and armor uh, so here is my logging cabins. So I have, I usually have three. So I got, I have one here and then I have another one back here. And of course they are accompanied with, uh, forester huts. So that's why our trees are all filled in this. You want kind of want to keep open just for the windmill to function, you know, uh, at its peak this as you can see it's being chopped down and then it's just being replanted because i have foresters everywhere basically uh yeah so here's another one here uh, that's another logging cabin and then we have a third one right here wait actually that's four one two three four yeah well okay so we have four on this city and uh this area is my uh my trade hub so i put them all in one area and of course you have your stables nearby and this is the king's road which i cannot delete right uh, but you can't really tell its direction so it waves or squiggles all the way through so this one was kind of yeah well i was building building this and then i have this road in the middle i was like what am i gonna do so then i just kind of built it in that direction uh one thing you may notice is there are no vegetables no vegetable plots uh, around my city it's not that i don't believe that it is uh inefficient it's just that it does not uh work with my design that's it i mean i i could still add vegetables but i i, I love the trees right i love how it fills in the area i could add here just add some vegetables but i think the city is complete there's nothing else for me to do all I need to do is finish the game. Uh, I could also start expanding. But again, it's going to be... Uh, I just feel that it's redundant for me. Uh, I'm just excited for you know the next update or when the game officially releases. When there's more content. And the last but certainly not the least is our military. And my choice of troops are the Polar Militia, the Footmen, and the Spearmen. I do not have Archers. I, I think they are extremely weak. While uh, our retinae are fully equipped, so as you can see, we have nothing to upgrade. And I chose blue and white. Uh, for in the previous city, I had them red. So red and gold, I believe. So, yep, that's our military. Uh, the thing that I don't understand, though, so you can see they have their chainmail. But the gambesons, for some reason, they do not wear it. Uh, in this city, though, I did, I did not bother getting them because in the previous city, they didn't wear them at all even though everything is uh tier three when it comes to families but it may not be necessary yeah uh other thing so hey let's check out the city because i reloaded it and you can see the uh apples are now white i, I suppose they are blooming even though i'm not sure apples do that yeah let's check out another view I, I envisioned this before I even started it because I really wanted to emphasize the, the pathways. I'm all about the roads because I'm a City Skylines player. 
And uh, yeah, the other thing that I don't understand though, uh, or I'm, I'm, I suppose it's random, is uh, these things. So these are the apple plots. These are both the same. They're both apples, as you can see. But the only difference is this has stone fences, while this has wooden fences. And if you check out the view, right, this looks definitely a lot better, right? I would love this if you can just uh, choose what type of fencing they would have. So I'm guessing it's completely random, which makes sense. Um, in other, uh, other than that, yeah, this is my complete city. And again, if you want to check out the uh, screenshots for inspiration to get a better view of things, uh, check out my socials. And again, thank you guys for hanging out. This is Captain Obvious, and I hope you have a pleasant rest of your day.